गुड मॉर्निंग डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव सीन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पी डी ई बाई एलिमिनेटिंग द आर्बिट्री फंक्शन सो टूडे इन द क्लास अगेन विल कंटिन्यू द सेम ऑफ आर्बिट्री फंक्शन विथ फ्यू मोर एग्जाम्पल्स सो वी हैड दिस बेसिक्स दैट इज डो जेड बाई डो एक्स इज इक्वल टू पी डो जेड बाई डो वाई इज इक्वल टू क्यू डो स्क्वायर जेड अपॉन डो एक्स स्क्वायर is equal to r do square z upon do x into do y or do y into do x will be considered as s and do square z upon do y square is equal to t with the help of this again uh, beginning part of our uh, uh, problems uh, this uh, information will go for the next kind of examples now question is find the pde from the equation z is equal to e raised to ax plus by into f of ax minus by here f of ax minus by is a function which one we are going to eliminate from the given equation so by data so the given question give equation number 1 so differentiate one with respect to x and y partially so therefore this z we have to differentiate first with respect to x partially it will become do z by do x is equal to this is a, so here e raised to ax plus b is the one function and f of ax minus by is another function so z is nothing but product of two function but both the functions having what here a variable x here also variable x here also for in such cases we need to apply product formula so we'll keep uh, e raised to ax plus by as it is and we'll differentiate f of ax minus by with respect to x partially it will become f dash of ax minus by into differentiation of the this bracket ax minus by with respect to x partial is a into 1 minus by purely constant 0 plus keep f of ax minus by as it is partial derivative of e raised to ax plus by will go out here e raised to ax plus by into a so simplify so a minus 1 is a so which this one as it is into a and here a i have taken before into e raised to ax plus by into f of ax minus by but according to the equation number 1 e raised to ax plus by into f of ax minus by is nothing but z so we'll replace this part that is e raised to ax plus by into f of ax minus by will become z and a as it is now and give this as and do z by do x as what here p give equation number 2 now similarly the given z we need to differentiate with respect to what here uh y partially so if you differentiate this partially so keep the first term as it is second is f dash of ax minus by into now we need to differentiate partially means ax is zero b into uh, minus by will become what here minus b plus f of ax minus by e raised to ax plus b into b is the second product formula we need to apply so on simplification this part with b as it is and remaining part will be z from the equation number 1 so by using 2 and 3 we need to go for the simplification in further st steps so to before simplifying we'll go for what here multiplying equation 2 by b and equation 3 by a then add so we need to multiply equation 2 by what here b first then multiply uh, a to equation 3 then both we need to add so multiplying b to equation 2 left hand side is b into p plus uh, left hand side of equation 3 is a into q left hand side added with b and a is equal to you multiply here b so a into b is ab e raised to ax plus by into f dash of ax minus by as it is plus ab into z plus plus uh, 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 right hand side of equation 3 multiply a so minus times ab plus times minus times ab into e raised to ax plus by into f dash of ax minus by plus ab into z so on simplification so this uh, plus and minus get cancels so plus abz and plus abz we get left with what here uh, if you add it will become left side bp Plus a q is equal to two times a b z. B p plus a q is equal to a b z is the required p d or this may be written as b into p is the thing but do z by do x plus a into uh, 
q is dou z by dou y two times a b z as it is either you can uh, close here or else here so this is nothing but required pd next